Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous video tutorial, we have created the dynamic click listener for Edit. And now, uh, in this video tutorial, we will get the value of menu location, then create a drop down here for dynamically editing the data, and the default value will be selected. So press F12 and inspect this cell so that you will get to know we have the ID right here this is the ID so we need to extract this ID by edit click this one so first of all get its class and now start traversing elements with the help of this class parent dot parent okay so we have whole row now we need children so this is first td and we want second td and if i will say again children we get to this span now we will say child eq zero node so it give us this now I want to get its value or attribute value so it is the value of selected menu location and now uh, this is the click listener where we will save this as where current value of menu location is equal this and pass this here now each time whenever you click any edit button the value of that row will be saved in this variable now what next is we need to replace this span with something else so we need to go here in the second td i will say eq one so I got second TD dot HTML and pass option here. and hit enter and you can see uh, that TD is becomes a drop down and this is the task which we want to achieve uh, in this video with the value come from database okay so here what we will do by this we will change that td with the drop down okay uh, now uh, if you will go to create menu you will see here we have the drop down we will 
copy this code okay so now we need to find that code okay so here is the menu drop down okay this is the drop down and what actually happening when this application is get execute we here rendering the data here when bring the data so now copy this ajax copy this ajax and use this ajax right after this okay now what we will do use this code here i will give it an id such as i will say this is menu oops id is equal menu link lock pass this id here remove this option from here so when this edit will clicked it will create the first td as a drop down and then this ajax will populate the value within this drop down now save it and <coughs> refresh this once so that our new code will get populate in the front end <coughs> now i hope whenever i will click on any edit text the first td which is the index 1 will become a drop down on which the values are populated okay it's executing right now now go to here and click this and you will see it's get change into the drop down which have having the value if i will click here then it's again do the same but why not it's appear here the reason is that we are using the id and id is always unique so i will use a class and i will use this okay so now uh, it will populate the same data in every where now refresh this and now you will see it's loaded and it's loaded it's working for both now the reason is uh, the simple thing is that it get populated twice and it's single so what we need to do each time we need to check that it should be empty before getting loaded and now refresh so whenever you will click on any uh, added text the drop down will have the same value each time instead of the redundant value because of the multiple calls here you will see added the single added and here and here have the unique values now this is selected for footer but we are selecting this as top so we need to set the default value whenever it's loaded so what we will do uh, <coughs> we will use this class this class we will use and <coughs> we will set that like this so 
<coughs> right now uh, we can extra first extract uh, the value uh, for example right now I have the this dot so it's give me this this is the selected value and if I will use something like this now the value is 404 okay so how we can set the value we can simply set value as uh, 4003 and click and you can see that the values get changed so we will use this here when the values get loaded right after the ajax it will set the values like this okay but what happened it will set the whole values uh, i mean if we have four to five drop downs then the last drop down value will be selected for all the drop downs so we make sure that whenever we are editing something we will edit everything just once not click on all added buttons so all drop down get populated and the last drop down value will be set in the all drop downs so we make it sure whenever we are working we will add it uh, one row in once we can do many optimization too here like uh, we can make checks if it is uh, the current is working only the current menu log id will be work how uh, by this we are uh, gathering the data okay by this okay so we will use this this to again uh, and populate this there we will append after this node so it is loading here and you can see <coughs> it's not work it's work on both okay so now what we need to do we need to traverse this node this node and remove this and here what we get this td we get this selected okay so we will append that here instead of this we will append that here like this now only specific class get hit not any other class will get hit okay and even that what we need to do we need to use to set this id uh, val okay. uh, children dot val and now i will if i will say zero zero three the values get set for that and right after this ajax after this each loop i will set that value like this okay so here is the value and here i will pass this and now you will see what happened magically when I will refresh this and you will see when I will click this okay it's not work and we'll click it's also not work uh, what happened actually let's read that okay that's not append the data okay so we can do this and let's see 
what's happened now see uh, I have click here the top bar is selected click here and top bar is selected again uh, now we need to select this value upon this click so we make any solution for this is that when it gets selected and appended then this log ID will get selected this parenthesis is maybe something happening wrong here okay uh, so this happening like this and this so it's happening so I will use dot eq here Okay, now refresh and see. Oops. So uh, it's not worked. So we need to do something different. Okay, we can do another thing. We can make a if statement here that if this id is equal equal the current location id then make it selected else it will work as it is So now I hope it's get work and we don't need to use these techniques. Now refresh and let's see. This is footer and this is top bar. Okay, so then I will click this. After refreshing, the current instance will show that it is uh, footer or top bar like this is footer by default the value selected is footer and i hope this video tutorial is informative for you if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel take care bye bye have